Hey everyone, Adam here. I am back with another reaction for the channel. This is a brand new artist. I have never heard of this artist before, but it came recommended to me. Thank you, Michael, for this recommendation. I'm excited. I'm always excited to find brand new artists on the channel. This is Laura Pergolizzi. I believe that's how you pronounce her surname, but from now on, we'll call her LP. And it's the song Dreamer. Now this is live as well. So I'm super pumped for that. I always have a live experience. No idea what to expect, no idea what type of genre, vocal, anything like that. So here we go. This is LP and the song Dreamer. Such an interesting opening already. All right, here we go. Baby, I'm a dreamer. You don't know what I need you. Now I know you got hearts. But come back from the stars. You're head in the clouds. You never come down. And I loved your way. Early days, I love the maze we found. Get it. What? Maybe you're a dreamer. Yeah, we all got a dream. Yeah. And I know you got harsh. But come back from the stars. 
Wow, I have just been schooled there. Wow. All right, so let me start with what I loved about this, and that is passion. Like, the passion that came from LP's voice was just unbelievable. And I love that this took us on a journey, right? I mean, that vocal passion that she has and that power took us on a journey. And it was really nice that we started. It was nicely bookended where we started with that softer delicacy in the voice. And then by the end of the song as well, we returned to that. And I have to talk about the end part specifically later on because that was beautiful what she did there. But I love that we started with the delicacy. We then built up through the song. The song kind of got more powerful as it went on. Then we got that big bite of the chorus when she was literally saying the word dreamer. You know, that was so such a bite, such power, and such held with such support in her voice as well, which was absolutely incredible. That was great. But I loved, loved when she just let loose. That for me was like, she just, oh, she just became alive. And I mean, don't get me wrong, she was alive all the way through this performance, but just that particular moment, she was soaring in the stratosphere. That was incredible. Hearing that voice just go for it, that higher range that she slipped up into, and I didn't even realize that she had that potential. I kind of thought like, okay, are we hearing the highest part of her voice when she's singing Dreamer, like during the chorus? But then when we went beyond that, kind of three quarters away through the song, and we got that higher register, she was like, really going up into it was just beautiful and I love the I love the rawness of her vocal you know there's like a little bit of gravel in there a little bit of grit which I absolutely love and I just love that she brought that just that grit reminded me so much in many ways of like Steve Tyler from Aerosmith you know has he is like kind of a similar gravel to his voice and I love like even this sounded a little bit like the Steve Tyler song like the Aerosmith song especially with the ah, like section of the song is very much, it reminded me of that, which is beautiful. And that song's Dream On, and this is Dreamer, so I thought it was quite a nice, like, interesting little mix there. But her voice is wow. Like, the power, as I say, the passion. And I love that it built up to that big crescendo, and then we came down at the end there, after that beautifully held note, we then came down to the, the end, and it was just that beautiful, it was very conversational. And you could hear that that passion in her voice, when she sang the word dreamer again, it wasn't like belted out, it wasn't powerful, it wasn't slapping you in the face. It was almost like a question saying, you know, are you a dreamer? And you could hear a little bit of, just a little bit, almost like a little bit of a break in the voice. And I don't mean break as in, you know, any damage to the vocal cords. I mean like emotionally, a little bit of a break in the voice. You saw her smile as well as she was singing. This song obviously means so much to her. And I love when that happens to performers in the moment when, it's almost like they catch themselves and they realize the emotion that is in, the emotional impact of the song for them and also for the audience listening. And that ending there, when that happened, that was beautiful. You know, it was kind of just seeing her, like in her raw, authentic self. And that was fantastic. I loved that. And that kind of like just nicely put a nice little soft blow just on the end of the song. Beautiful. You know, and I don't, I don't know if she became like a little bit overwhelmed with emotion there or if she was just enjoying herself or if that's the way the song normally ends. But just that little tiny crack in her voice beautiful. I loved it so much. It really just brought that authenticity of emotion to the performance. And that's what this is all about. That was incredible. Wow. I mean, when she was doing that section towards the end and just really built it up and that voice, just those cries that were coming out of her was so fueled with passion, fueled with emotion. And that's what it's all about. Getting that message out there, getting that emotion out there, getting that emotional impact out there. And when you see that, you can't help but be impacted as an audience member listening. That was what it's all about. Just incredible bite of the song. I have to say as well that the way she worked together with the musicians on stage was excellent. You can tell that they all worked together really, really well. The song as well was beautifully played in the background. I love that. Again, you know, the music kind of followed her. She was the driving force of the song. I like when the music dropped out in little parts and then came back in. That was really, really beautiful. And they, yeah, they just worked as a lovely, cohesive piece. But obviously, LP is the star here. The one thing I will point out, which isn't a negative, it's just something for me which I'm not a huge fan of personally, and I want to talk about vibrato. So, I love when singers use vibrato, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love it. But I think sometimes there's a tendency of when it can come out very, very quickly, and it can sound a little bit wobbly on the end of notes. And I pointed this out the first time I ever listened to Anoni, right, where Anoni has a beautiful voice, but the vibrato for me is just, sometimes it can be a little bit wobbly. 
And I kind of felt like I got a little bit of that from LP, like just on the end of notes. It's a very, very fast vibrato. Now, it's a very controlled vibrato. It's not out of kind of control. And I've certainly heard if you hear like an out of control vibrato, which is kind of thrown on as like an emergency at the end of a note, it sounds so different to this. Now, LP has such control of the vibrato. That's obviously the way that she sings. And hey, credit to her. For me personally, I just like a, a bit of a slower vibrato, which kind of ends off the note nicely. But what I will say is it certainly doesn't take away from her vocal capabilities, her talents as a performer, as a singer, as an artist. Just wow. I mean, you can't help but be impassioned by that incredible vocal and the emotion and the power that's in that voice. And that is what makes it incredible. Her style is androgynous as well. And I absolutely love that. I love what she was wearing. Fantastic. And just, yeah, just such an artist, an authentic artist through and through. And that's what it's all about. So I want to say a big thank you to Michael for sending this to me. This was a fantastic suggestion and I'm really intrigued to hear more by her because if this is the start, we're up here. And if we can only go beyond that, I mean, wow, that will just blow me out of my seat. But what did you think of the song Dreamer by LP? You know what to do by now. Please leave me your comments down below with your thoughts. And if you have any other suggestions by the incredible LP, please leave those down below as well. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please come and subscribe to the channel if you don't already. And make sure you hit that bell icon as well. It's the fastest way to get new notifications when a brand new video like this drops. If you do want to jump in and help support the channel on Patreon, the details for that are just down below. Remember, this video did go live on Patreon and filter free before it came onto YouTube. We do have a few exclusives on there. For example, I do a monthly check-in every single month with my Patreon subscribers, as well as a few little exclusive goodies that are on there. So if you do want to jump in and help support the channel, that would be amazing. Thank you so much. The link and details for that are just down below. So thank you again, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this as much as what I did. And until next time, take care.